So this is an Apple Pencil that the battery's failed in and I'm trying to open it up to have a look at the battery yep. and see if I can get some charge into it. I've tried heating yep. it and freezing it and all Hi. sorts and it's not going. I've got my little helper here, Ben, helping me, haven't I? Yep. Yep. What do we have to do? We have to, we have to be careful and take it apart. Yeah. So I have just run basically a Stanley blade down the side of this pencil to cut the housing so you can take the housing off or the plastic out of case. And I've realised, for everybody else who wants to do this, if you look at the connector, one end's got your serial number and the other end has got the CE markings. Now that side of the CE markings, on this one anyway, there are no holes. So assuming they're all put on around the same way, this is the side you want to run your blade down because you're not going to do any damage. Just put it in a vise and big sharp blade down there. Just mind the, the end because that is just gold foil on there and I have nipped this one so I'm hoping it's still going to work. If not, dab a bit of solder on it. But now I'm going to... So after a bit of investigation, I've realised these four pads here, the one on the very left, so the closest one to the nib, that is ground because it's, uh, if you test it, continuity, te continuity test it with the body, it's connected. And then the second one gives me 1.4 volts at the moment, so I'm going to assume that's the battery. And the other two are probably some kind of data connection. Now, I'm going to put 3.2 volts into that second pin and see what occurs. So, wish me luck. So I've soldered some particularly fine wires onto a lithium battery I've got kicking around. And now I'm going to try and connect the ground to the very left pin, or just the body of the pencil. And then I'm going to connect, or touch, this red one on the second pin. So the positive's going to go into the second pin and the ground into the pin the closest to the nib. And we'll see what happens. So this is so you can see where this hole is down here this little hole here is relative to the connector so if you've got the connector with the CE markings here facing towards you then the hole is on the top pretty much so we turn it round it's not quite parallel with the edge of the connector but it's a little bit forward of it now if we put this by a ruler we measure from the top, the very top flat edge of that connector, all the way down to the centre of the hole. Show my lights a bit bright. You look in, the middle of the hole is at about nine, what's that? 98 millimetres, roughly. Let's move this away. So you can see there, there we go, see? So, 100 millimetres is near enough to the right-hand side of the hole. So probably about 98 millimetres is going to get you smack bang in the middle. So if you were to measure from the very flat edge down almost on the side of the connector to there, then you were to cut that piece of plastic away, you would get access to that hole. Like I said, if the C markings are facing you here, as you roll it back towards you, so roll it forwards towards you, the hole will be down there. So you want to draw a line along there and make a dot at about 98 millimetres and then cut a square or rectangle out and you'll have access to that hole. And once you've got access to that hole, the pin here, this end of the big four spots, that is the ground, that is the negative pin. And the next pin along, so the second one away from the nib, that is the uh, power from the battery, basically. Um, and that is where I put 4.2 volts in and it charged the battery back up, but this one didn't work. So I mean, it might help somebody, but it hasn't helped me, unfortunately. But hopefully someone else will fix their pencil.